Hi, Spikey. Is that your brother? Yes, Mrs. Coco. Meet my brother, Mikey. But how did you know that he was my brother? He looks a lot like you. See, his hair and face look just like yours. But his skin and eye color are different. You are right, Mrs. Coco. But if we have the same parents, why is our skin and eye color different? The difference is due to the different genetic makeup as a result of the process of meiosis that took place in your parents before you were born. What is meiosis? Meiosis is a type of cell division that occurs in reproductive cells and results in four daughter cells, each with half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. For example, the production of eggs and sperm cells in humans, and spores in plants. Let's take a closer look at all the steps of meiosis. Meiosis is divided into meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Meiosis 1 results in two unique daughter cells, whereas meiosis 2 produces four unique cells that only have half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. Each of these divisions are further divided into four phases. You can remember the phases as P-mat. P is for prophase, M is for metaphase, A is for anaphase, and T is for telophase. Meiosis I begins with prophase I. In prophase I, the chromosomes condense into X-shaped structures that can be easily seen under a microscope. Each chromosome consists of two sister chromatids containing identical genetic information joined by a centromere. These sister chromatids then exchange chromosomal material. This process is called crossing over. After crossing over, the sister chromatids are no longer identical to one another. This is one of the reasons why no two siblings are genetically identical, unless they're twins. Then, the nuclear membrane disappears and the homologous pairs of chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell. The spindle fibers extend across the cell. And we have the next phase begin, metaphase 1. Here, the chromosomes align at the center of the cell. The spindle fibers attach to one chromosome of each pair. The next phase is anaphase 1. During this phase, the homologous chromosomes separate and start moving to opposite poles of the cell. Hey, look! The sister chromatids are still attached at the centromere. Yes, the sister chromatids stay attached by the centromere throughout meiosis 1. The final step is telophase 1. In this phase, the spindle fibers start to break down. The nuclear membrane reappears and finally, the cell divides into two daughter cells after cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm. These cells will now undergo meiosis II through another PMAT. In prophase II, the chromosomes condense again in each of the two daughter cells. The nuclear membrane disappears and the spindle fibers form. The major difference between prophase II and prophase I is that the daughter cells only have one copy of the homologous chromosome. So in prophase 2, there is no crossing over. In metaphase 2, the chromosomes line up again at the equator of the cell. The centrioles move to the poles of the cell. The spindle fibers attach to each sister chromatid. In anaphase 2, the sister chromatids are pulled apart as the spindle fibers shorten. Also, the ends of the cells are pulled further apart. In telophase 2, 
the nuclear membrane reforms, cytokinesis occurs, and the cells have officially divided. Since meiosis II began with two cells, and each of those cells further split into two, we now have four unique granddaughter cells at the end of meiosis. These cells are called gametes. In humans, the chromosome number is 46 for a cell. Meiosis, in males, produces sperm cells, and in females, produces eggs. The four gametes produced are different from each other. They are also different from the parent cell, because the parent cell had 46 chromosomes, but the gametes only have 23 chromosomes each. Two gametes, one from the father and one from the mother, may fuse to form an embryo. Since each gamete is unique, the resulting embryo, which will have 46 chromosomes, is also unique. That is why, although you and your brother have the same parents, you two are very different genetically. Let's summarize. Meiosis is a type of cell division that occurs in reproductive cells. It results in four daughter cells, each with half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. There are two cell division events during meiosis, meiosis I and meiosis II. There are four steps in each event of meiosis, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Meiosis I produces two unique daughter cells. Meiosis II results in four unique cells that have half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell.